Hello everyone, I'm Sumner and today I'm going to show you how to install our 20 inch light bar on the front of this Ford Bronco with the capable bumper. When you purchase the Bronco bumper 20 inch light bar kit, you'll get a 20 inch light bar in either a clear or amber configuration, vehicle specific brackets, and a bag including two EPDM strips and a wiring harness. For the installation of the 20 inch bar, you'll need a pair of wire crimpers, two 13 millimeter wrenches of different lengths, a 7 16 wrench, an eight millimeter deep socket, and a razor. So to begin the light bar install, first we'll need to remove the fender on each side, along with the trim along the bottom here. Next, there's two 13 millimeter bolts on the back side of the bumper that we'll need to remove for the brackets to install. To remove the fender, you'll need to loosen these clips by rotating them and pulling the fender away from the vehicle. For the next step in the install, we'll need to remove this trim panel, which is just held in by pressure clips. Starting on the outside, work your way out and around the vehicle. When removing the, the trim piece, just pull directly away from the vehicle and the clips will unseat. So the next step will be to remove the two 13 millimeter bolts on the back side of the bumper. This can be done by first breaking it loose with a long 13 millimeter wrench and then working it with a smaller one. The next step will be to attach the sticky back EPDM to the bottom side of the bracket. The EPDM helps against any vibration that you see between the metal bumper and the metal bracket. With the EPDM installed, we'll now install the bracket. Our next step in the installation will be to install the light bar into the bracket. With that step done, you'll need the washer and the bolt. Go ahead and tighten the light bar bracket, but not all the way. You will still need to be able to rotate the light bar forward and back. And then do the same thing on the other side. And now that we have the light bar in the brackets, we're going to tighten the bolts on the back side of the brackets. I like to use a small 13 millimeter uh, wrench to do that, uh, just for the tight space. And feel free to get these brackets as tight as they go. With the brackets installed, it's now time to install the wiring harness. So once the hood is open, there's a channel that runs right behind, kind of to the left side of the headlight. We'll want to run the wire down that way. Just leave a little bit of slack on the wire here and we'll run the wire with existing wiring up to the outfitter switches. And we'll just kind of temporarily lay that there just so we can get the length right down here at the bottom. So after running the wires up to the Ford Upfitter wire location, make a wire-to-wire -wire connection with the positive red wire. In this instance, we chose to use a military splice type connection. When making the ground connection, attach the ring terminal to the eight millimeter bolt here, and then zip tie the wire away from anything hot or sharp. With the wire harness run, measure the length that you'll need from the pigtail of the light bar, connect it in, and then zip tie it away from anything hot or moving, taking the slack away from the front of the vehicle. So for this next step in the install, we're actually gonna grab a, a blanket or some sort, of, some sort of fabric cover to cover the light bar. Just because the light bar is so close to this factory fascia piece, we don't wanna scratch the, we don't wanna scratch the paint on the fascia piece when we're reinstalling it. With the fascia piece reinstalled, it's now time to angle the light bar and tighten the two remaining 7 16ths on the side. And before you finalize your installation, just make sure to test the light bar before you put any of the panels back together to ensure functionality. 
reinstall the fenders. They just snap in and have the clips. With everything reinstalled on the Bronco and your lights functioning properly, your install is now complete. Thanks for watching. Comment below the next vehicle you want to see us do an install on. You can find this kit at hereticstudio.com along with many other kits that we offer for tons of vehicles. So check us out online.